Hello Robloxians, welcome to another tutorial done by Seth's Cafe. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the cash to collect button. And so the final product is going to look a lot like this. So whenever you touch it, the drop will then um, show up. The brick will disappear. It will go right here and then right here it will change to cash. So without further ado, let's get started into the tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is insert a model into the game. And as you may have noticed, I tidied this up a little bit. Um, I made this brick red, smoothed it out a little bit, um, made this look a lot more like glass, and made these black because I think it looks a little bit more professional than just the plain um, look. And I forgot to put this part in my drop group. There we go. Problem solved. All right, so now we're going to name this Cash to collect and we're going to do a colon and then we're going to do a space zero and so um, now we need to insert a part into the game so we will name this part get and then we'll copy and paste that and we will name this one head and as you all may know whenever there is a brick called head most likely there's also going to be a humanoid inserted into the model and so what that does is it makes the um the brick have a name and so we're just gonna drag this down to the ground and drag it right there and that's good enough all right, and so to get rid of this health bar, what we're gonna have to do is come down here and change the max health to zero. And so now that we've got that done, why, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna need to do is the fun part, all the scripts. So we'll start top to bottom. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is under the cash to collect tab is we're going to write the display script. And so what the script is used for is so that on the scoreboard, um, or not the scoreboard, I'm sorry, um, so that the brick that says cash to collect, it will change its name based on how much m um, like money is there. So we'll title this script display. And so in a moment, we're going to insert the money value. And so that will, yeah, make it change. All right, now we will go down to the get um, brick. And in case you're wondering, I have all of these scripts on a Word document that I will have it a link to in the description below. I'm starting to do them like this just because it saves a lot of time in the tutorial um, because most of the time in all of my tutorials, it's just me typing and y'all don't want to see that. Y'all want to see how it's done. So... Um, I'll just point out the key things and we're going to want to title this get cash. And just so y'all know, um, I'll just go ahead and explain this right now. This is the value that you want the money to be. I personally like the lower money values, um, cause I don't really see a point in having it to where each brick is like worth a hundred dollars. And then the cheapest thing is worth like a thousand dollars. Instead, I think it'd be like, I love it whenever it's just simple and each brick is only worth like five or ten dollars and the cheapest thing is like fifty dollars for me that's a lot easier to just you know think of and in the next tutorial most likely i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the upgrade bricks to make it to where whenever you buy an upgrade the um, money value will change and be something greater so now what we're going to need to do is insert a value so this is going to be an int value and we're going to name this money as i mentioned whenever we did the display script so now we have all of these scripting out of the way and all of that so now we just need to get the bricks into position so the get brick is going to need to be on top of the bottom brick right here you can actually make this the get brick but it's not going to appear with the model so for instance if it was there the people would be able to see it the entire time unless you make it transparent which i actually like to do um but all right so right now what we're just going to do is copy and paste the position to get it in the right spot 
and then we're also going to copy and paste the size that way it is all consistent so change this to custom and we'll do that and there we go so now although actually you know what just while I'm at it I think I'll just scale this down and make sure that you anchor it down um, I actually this is the second time that I've done this video because I forgot to anchor it down just that small little thing and so whenever I started the match or not the match but the game and then also uncheck the can't collide um, I'll get to that in a moment I'm sorry I'm going on a bunch of rabbit trails but anyways so I didn't have it anchored and it would fall to the bottom of the earth and it wasn't working and that was kind of confusing me and so I then went through, did it again, realized my mistake, and so now I'm redoing it. And I also like to make it invisible. And the reason that I unchecked the can collide is because, say, I decided to have two of them. And or before they bought the drop, there would just be an invisible platform that they could not see, but they could feel. So, I mean, it really is your choice. And I made it invisible, that way it doesn't show up before they buy the drop. So, now we'll see what it's like. So that goes there, that falls, it has the cash to collect, and I actually just realized my mistake. So, I never inserted this group into here. Um, that's also a mistake that I make a lot, more than I'd like to admit. So, just drag the cash to collect um, model or group into there. And now it will work. So you touch that, that drops, and there we go. Now the cache appears here, it disappears from here, and there we go. Well, thank you guys for watching. In the next video, I'll probably show you guys how to buy an upgrade um, brick for to make these worth like $10 or 15 or whatever value you would like. So to make sure that you can see that video, make sure that you subscribe so you can get a notification whenever I post that video. But if you'd like to see me do a different video first, make sure to leave a comment down below of what you would like to see me do. And also if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys next time.